welcome to Palace Intrigue. I am your host, Mark Francis. The Royals did not publicly wish Harry a happy birthday on Friday. None of the official Twitter and Instagram accounts for the royal family, including King Charles and Queen Camilla, as well as that of William and Harry's, touched the subject, most likely something to do with working royals and all that. But Harry did get a happy birthday from the crowd at the volleyball game. The New York Post reports Harry appeared as he and Meghan beamed from ear to ear during a volleyball game between host country Germany and Poland. The announcer had asked the crowd, is there anybody here celebrating their own special occasion today? Anyone's birthday? Oh, I think it's someone's birthday. A certain Prince Harry, the Duke of Sussex, is 39 today. Happy birthday. Let's sing along. The Post adds, it didn't seem as though his boozy birthday festivities from the night before didn't leave the Duke with a raging hangover as the father of two appeared fresh-faced on his big day. On Thursday, Harry celebrated his birthday in local style with German beer and bratwursts, Wiener schnitzels, red cabbage and mashed potato at the In Golden and Kessel restaurant and bar. The restaurant shared a picture on Instagram captioned, So proud, impressed by very friendly people who enjoyed our Schumialt, Harry is said to have knocked back six beers during the celebration. A source close to Harry said the group headed back to their nearby hotel just shy of midnight to sing him happy birthday and indulge in cake. Yahoo recapped how Harry and Meghan's popularity at the Invictus Games is shocking the British tabloids. Per Yahoo, the Daily Mail couldn't believe their eyes when they noted that only positive headlines are being used to describe the Duke and Duchess of Sussex. They were confounded that there have yet to be negative comments about their public appearances, and why should there be? Harry and Meghan have been gracious hosts, cheering athletes from all over the world who are inspiring everyone with their athletic talents and mental fortitude. There really isn't anything to criticise. A reporter for Germany's Bild newspaper shared with the Daily Mail, I think people are very interested to see how they are together and their dynamics as a couple. They are very popular here. You only have to see how hundreds of people waited in the market square outside the town hall to try and see them. It was the same the previous year when they came to start the countdown to the games. Another reporter explained, People are fascinated with Harry and his family, but they all know about Meghan. There are two camps here in Germany, Team Harry and Meghan and Team Kate and William. It has been interesting seeing them together. Now they are here, people see them, they are happy. Harry and Meghan are happy, but perhaps it's the British press that wants to see them miserable. Vanity Fair adds that royal correspondent for German network ZDF Ulrike Grunenwald met with Harry and said he has been in excellent form and is even happier now that his wife is by his side. According to Grunenwald, the German tabloids have been speculating for a while about the Sussex's marriage. It has been all over the popular press that the marriage might be in trouble. But this visit has changed all of that. Now that Meghan is here, he is over the moon. They have been holding hands, cheering competition on at various matches and games. They seem intimate and very close. Either that, or they are very good actors. From where I've been watching, they seem very in love. She added, It felt like the old Harry was back. He talked to all of us. We had some little toys that we gave for Archie and Lilibet. He said he was enjoying Germany and has a lot of German in him. He was obviously referring to his family heritage. An insider told Vanity Fair, Harry actually wants to be on the sidelines. He's happy not to be the star attraction when it comes to Invictus. He wants the focus to be on the games and the competitors. Ultimately, when Meghan turns up, press interest soars and there is more coverage. That's the way it is. It's the same with the Prince and Princess of Wales. When Kate turns up at an event with William, it becomes a leading news story. Palace Intrigue will be right back. Poor Kate had to miss out on some fun due to her finger injury. She was visiting a primary school in Hereford with Prince William and revealed she is still having trouble with her fingers. The students were getting a lesson on outdoor safety, but Kate did not take part as she could not wear the safety gloves required for some log sawing. She said, I can't even put that on because I've got two fingers stuck together. William donned the safety goggles and gloves to saw through his log. The ever-brave Kate assisted by holding the wood steady for him. While Harry and Meghan were off in Germany doing who knows what involving six beers, William and Kate sat under a canopy in the forest as they prepared apple, cinnamon and sugar skewers to toast on a fire. Kate said, It's like a healthy marshmallow. It always tastes so much better whenever you cook something on the fire. I've seen 1,000 marshmallows around the fire, but I've never seen a sugar-dipped apple. I'm going to try this with my kids. William added that it smelled delicious. And there you have it.
If you'd like to email us, our address is thepalaceintrigue at gmail.com. Please follow us on Spotify, iTunes, Google Podcasts, or your favorite app of choice. And head over to YouTube or YouTube.com and hit that subscribe button for us. It would really help us out. I'm Mark Francis. My thanks to John McTurman. This is Palace Intrigue. Good times. <laughs>